A trade today announced by the Eskimos. They've sent quarterback Matt Nichols to the Winnipeg Blue Bombers in return. The Eskimos get a seventh round conditional draft pick in the 2017 CFL draft. Eskimos general manager and vice president of football operations Ed Hervey talked about the deal today. Thinking forward right, and knowing the situation that we're in and knowing that Mike's health was was uh, evident uh, and to prevent a log jam in our quarterback situation as well as he, you, you know you don't have a disgruntled player. And not to say he wasn't, he's been a true professional for us for his entire time here, just understanding uh, the scope. You know, he's at a point where he's tasted some uh, playing time. There was an opportunity for him uh, with the Winnipeg Blue Bombers. Riley will be taken off the sixth game uh, this evening, and he'll be eligible to practice. And uh, as far as his playing status is concerned, uh, that would be uh, entirely up to what the coaches see fit for when he's out there and what he's able to show. Matt has done everything that we expected him to do. I think it far exceeded the expectation of, of many of his doubters uh, just on the fact that when Mike went down, I think many felt that it was uh, doom and gloom for our football team, but he was able to go out there, albeit with all his teammates, be able to manufacture enough wins to uh, get us in the position that we're in. And obviously the emergence of uh, Franklin has uh, made that decision for us um, you know, quite uh, you know, easy. Back now with a host of 630 Chet Inside Sports, Reed Wilkins. Reed, uh, a trade probably maybe caught some people by surprise, but when you break down the numbers of quarterbacks, especially with Mike Riley returning soon, uh, it's a deal that shouldn't really surprise anyone. Well, Matt Nichols is going to get the opportunity to compete for a job with the Winnipeg Blue Bombers, and he's a free agent at the end of the season. So it's not a huge return for the Edmonton Eskimos, but they potentially get a draft pick a couple of years down the road. And, uh, I mean, look, with Riley coming back, was Matt Nichols going to get to play? anymore with uh, with James Franklin having played so well. I mean, I don't think Nichols is at the point in his career where he wants to sit on the practice roster. And I don't think the Eskimos want to put a guy with that much experience under his belt on the practice roster either. Now, what's interesting is at this moment, uh, they don't have four quarterbacks. So we'll see if there's a signing here. So there is now a practice roster quarterback. But the best news out of all this for Eskimo fans is Mike Riley is going to be coming off the six-game injury list. He's going to be practicing with the team this week. And I would assume he's going to dress as a backup quarterback Labor Day in uh, Calgary. And maybe, read the speculation starts. When can he start? Maybe that's the Saturday return matchup here at Commonwealth. Yeah, well, now there's a, a, a great deal of depth at the quarterback position because Franklin has started and won and uh, Riley though he didn't have a good game in his one appearance last year obviously was the key quarterback for them going 12 and 6 uh, last year and he adds a, a, a strong dimension to the offense so uh, now it's going to be interesting though I mean there was a lot of Franklin Nichols debate earlier in the year I wonder if there's going to be a Franklin Riley debate as we move along here especially if one guy or the other has a bad game along the way or fans are going to be clamoring for the other guy to uh, to come back in but overall a good situation situation for the Eskimos to be in with Franklin and Riley. So it looks like Mike Riley is ready to return to the lineup, if not start on Labor Day in Calgary. And um, of course, Matt Nichols is on his way to Winnipeg to become a member of the Winnipeg Blue Bombers. For Reed Wilkins, I'm Morley Scott.